there! Welcome to my studio. So, I heard that there are some of you out there who want to learn some basic tips on how to do brush lettering and I'm a massive fan um, of brush lettering mainly because I'm a massive fan of using these wonderful art sticks tools that just make brush lettering so much easier. So, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is just make some scribbles, get a feel of the Artline Sticks brush marker or the brush marker that you might be using, like Tombow. Create all sorts of different lines, um, squiggles, little lines, little thin lines, dots. Fill the page up with all different sorts of marks. And then what we're going to do is just explore and experiment with the marker a little bit more. Now you see, uh, cap keeps falling off. You see that you can make really, really thick lines by pressing down and angling the brush head. See if you can make as thick a line as possible with your marker. You might need to angle it almost horizontally onto the page. Do a couple of those. You might have to try another way of holding your pen and see if you get the thickest lines possible. And then you're going to want to try and get the thinnest line possible by doing an upward stroke. See if you can get the thinnest line possible using the tip of the pen. Again, you might need to change the way you're holding the pen. But essentially, all of the letters, all 26 letters of the English alphabet, is made up of different strokes that are both thick and thin. Let's choose a different colour. Mm. So now we're going to draw a face to practice our lines. We're going to use a face. So draw a face, a smiley face, and we're going to practice our thick and thin lines by drawing hair. See if you can get the thickest hair possible for your drawing. Long, luscious hair. You don't want a bald picture. A nice thick lines. Go on, give it a fringe. After you've done that, now we're going to fill it in with some thin lines. Can you draw little, little thin lines? So happy. Fill up all the spaces. Should we try another one? Let's draw a boy this time. Oh, almost gave him flesh coloured eyes. Okay, he can smile too. We're going to start with thin hair this time. Little thin lines. All the way around. So spiky. Hmm. We won't give him any thick hair. 
So even drawing faces, you can practice brush lettering techniques. Next, we're going to do alternating lines, thick and thin, thick and thin. Can you do alternating patterns for the rest of your page? Remember, downstroke is thick and upstroke is thin. And that really is the basic, basic technique of how brush lettering begins. You know what else has thick and thin lines that we can draw? Start with two thick lines and some thin dots. It's a road. There are so many different drawings in our lives that we could do. All right, after we've done and practiced our thick and thin lines, we can start joining some of them. It's the letter L, which is basically a thick line with a curved thin line coming up. Can you practice the letter L? Maybe you've got the letter L in your name. Is it a little L or an umbrella? There are many different ways you can practice your brush lettering technique. And there you have it. Those are the very basic techniques of all letter shapes in the English alphabet. Remember, downward stroke is thick and upward stroke is thin. You can practice these with all different types of letters, but start with the letter L and then you can work your way through the alphabet.